Are you psyched? I'm psyched. Hell yeah. Today I'm test riding a Triumph. I'm so excited to be riding this bike right now. I'm hopping on the Triumph Scrambler 1200. I know you can't see me, but I am like cheesing. I'm at Mom's in Foxborough, Massachusetts on Route 1. Gillette is like maybe a mile or two that way. A football throw. Yeah, a football a Hail throw. Mary that way. They have a designated test ride route, which is exciting because I was like, wait, I, there's like infinite directions to go from here. So I'm excited that there's like a clear route. So Eric is the sales rep that I'm working with here. So shout out to that guy who told me to connect with Eric because he's the man. Do you love your job? Yeah, it's a good time. It's the most fun I've ever had working. I'm excited because I've never ridden a Triumph and a lot of you have suggested that I try a Triumph and I'm gonna, cause I'm really happy that you suggested that. And I feel like you guys know me, which is really exciting. So I'm hopping on a Scrambler 1200. Let's go. to be riding this bike right now. I know you can't see me, but I am like cheesing. Wow. I was just telling Justin and Eric that I've never ridden a bike with a windscreen before. It's nice. <laughs> it's really nice to have a windscreen. My leg is warm here next to this pipe. Ooh, very warm. I keep my foot up there. I'm not flat footed, but I'm pretty close to it on this bike. Oh, the gas light just came on. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm in love with this bike. It's taller than what I would normally feel comfortable hopping on, um, but I like that. Like I feel, I feel on top of this bike as opposed to sitting in it, which I thought I preferred to feel like I was sitting in the bike. But now, after riding this, it almost has like the, a dirt bike feel. Like a, sorry, I'm also trying to remember if that was the right, but it's not. It has a bit of a dirt bike feel because I feel like I'm up high on top of the bike and I can like see uh, like more ahead of the bike than I feel like I could on my bike. It also handles bumps really well. Definitely uh, and surprisingly better than mine. Yeah, I feel really in control on this bike. Oh, that was my turn. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> All right, this is my turn here. I went a little off road. I don't know if you saw that. Okay, so that blinker turned off on its own. I, I meant to ask Eric if this had auto off blinkers. Uh, and 
It turns out it does, which you know I'm a fan of. Neutral is nice and easy to find. Kickstand. Wow. Love you. I'm in love. You know I'm looking for a modern bike that inspires adventure. One that's reliable, but like not in a boring way. So what do you think? Do you think this Scrambler fits the bill? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't, click subscribe to see more from me. Let's run through the specs. This is either a 2022 or 2023 Scrambler 1200 XC. I don't know the exact year as I'm waiting for all the info from the dealer. They didn't have it on hand because this bike had just come in from another store. I also don't have the odometer reading for the same reason. So check the video description I'll drop these details in as soon as I get them. Here's what I do know. It's got a six speed transmission and a 1,200 cc engine. I love that nice even number right there. The gas tank holds 4.2 gallons and the dry weight is 452 pounds. This scrambler is equipped with auto off turn signals for the win. <laughs> And this windscreen is cool, but it turns out it's not stock. It has a TFT display, basically just means an LCD with good resolution. And it's keyless. So it comes with a proximity key like newer cars do. Jury's out if that's a pro or a con for me, but that's how I know it's not a 2024 model because they discontinued it. I looked into it and there were a lot of complaints about battery life and like it randomly not connecting or disconnecting, which I don't know. I, I don't know. Jury's out. <laughs> oh, and last thing, I learned that you need to engage the clutch when you're starting a Triumph. Apparently a trick for people my height getting on a bike this height is to get on it like a horse. So put your left foot here and swing your right foot over. I learned that today. Quick rundown, five seconds. I'm, so, okay, so I'm, fr I can't do five seconds, but here we go. 
I'm fresh off a test ride and my immediate thoughts and emotions are I love Triumph. I, I can't really like place it. I feel like it's closer to your bike because it's so powerful. 1200 cc, like that's the biggest bike I've ever ridden. What, what's yours? A thousand. So it is a similar. Thousand. Yeah, so it's similar. But it's bigger. It's bigger and it gets going a lot faster and it doesn't hate being in first gear, which was like a big hang up for me. How about oh, seat position and comfort? Oh God, oh, the, the clutch. clutch, Jesus, the freaking clutch. The clutch was like as easy as my clutch it to engage. It just shifted itself. That's a big one for me. If you didn't see the last video or the one before the last video, whatever one it was, I struggle with a clutch lever, clutch lever that's hard to pull in. Like I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not like super weak. Guns. <laughs> but I like, I was really struggling with Justin's clutch lever. Um, so on the Triumph Scrambler, I had no problem at all with engaging the clutch lever. And then you asked me about the seat too. Yeah. Um, the seat height was taller than I thought that I'd be comfortable with, but I really liked it. I, I, I felt good being on top of the bike instead of what felt like being like in the bike. You know, like I was like, do you know what I'm saying? No, I get that. It's almost like when you drive a big truck versus a small car and you yeah. feel like you can see more of the road. But also just so people know here, Route 1 is ridiculously busy and we came at rush hour because life and Bugsy was sitting here trying to get a pocket to pull out. And so I'm watching her for a second, I'm thinking, right, you know, she'll be good. I basically turn around, I just hear, Wah! and I look, and about three seconds, it was from here to past that orange sign way up there. It was about a thousand feet covered in like three seconds. Yeah, so I was good. Yeah, it's no, you were definitely now. good. This is quiet. Yeah, by this the is way. quiet right now. There's was, like no um, traffic compared. So I felt like I was sitting there for like a couple minutes. You might have been, out. but it was a very good test for you to hop on a bike just immediately have to get out of the pocket you yeah know what i mean so it's like you, there was no timid anything about it you were immediately thrust into the bike so yeah for you to feel comfortable enough to do that i think is saying something yeah about you know how that's you a good actually point. feel that's a good point um there was no hesitation which for me is big because i can hesitate and then i can freak myself out yeah, and then I, I can like accidentally drop Get in the car a accident. test drive. No, <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. No, I no. haven't ever done that. No, either. yeah, no. But like that, you know, like that goes through your head. You're like, oh. All right. right so wait, if you were gonna <laughs> okay. wrap it up for everybody, where do you land? Are you um, coming back with cash in hand? Well, so good question. I'm definitely coming back. So um, Eric is the man. Eric and was awesome. Thanks for recommending I come here and make an appointment with him. And we ch we talked a little bit at the end of my time here, and he was like, "Yeah, it's totally cool if you want to come back and like ride more." Cause like I I need to get a feel for other bikes. Like I've heard good things about the Speedmaster. I'm excited to compare that to other like bikes in the Bonneville class. So. I, I'll be back. I'm not ready to sign anything yet, but I do feel like this is the place, you guys. This is awesome. Yeah, mom's is sick. Yeah. All right, um, signing off. Signing off. See Thanks. See you later. Bye. Bye. Here, it just, it just becomes, it just, people are just flabbergasted. Like, <laughs> come on. Because then you just, you see, like, depending on, like, what corner you turn, like, there's a car. There's, there's, yeah. like, an ATV. What are these? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, like the crazy e-bike you showed me. Star uh, Fart. Yeah, Star, wait, Star Fart. Start Bar. Star Fart, <laughs> yeah. 84 horsepower on an e-bike. Right there. Well, an e-dirt bike? Yeah. Yeah. Zero miles on it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I saw that you guys do, um, like, dirt bike test rides? No. Oh, oh, because, no. like, on some... Start bikes online, it says like schedule a test ride. And I'm like, do they I have like a pit <laughs> <up there?" laughs> no, <laughs> like that? No. Would be... I can show you where employees would be, yeah. Oh, yeah. would be who would get in the flight yeah. Yeah. Like, so we have the Triumph dirt bike that we have is one of them is a demo bike, and I've taken it in the back before, and then also like you know, ATV or side by side. There's like this tiny, tiny little area that you could like rip donuts.
that's uh, sick. Your tiny little e dirt bike as well. So cute. Those would be fun in our yard. Yeah, yeah, Justin, you wanted to learn how to wheelie. Yeah, you should. That's a great way <laughs> to learn. We just have to get like, from like point A to point B. Yeah. <laughs> So to the like, house to the shed. <laughs> well, yeah. Rebel. It would be a lot more fun on a smaller bike. That's a rental bike. Oh yeah, oh, yeah so Lex, you guys do Eagle Rider. Yes. Yeah, cool. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Th these are all of the rental bikes. Cool. Is this for classes? These are, yeah, so we do the school here also. So you can take your MSF course here and it counts as your road test. Moms itself doesn't do it. It's done by a guy that runs his own business, Streetwise Cycle School. All through there and then on the other side as well. That's basically everything for service. Yeah, it's a massive, massive operation. It's fantastic. Yeah, and it's a super fun place. Yeah, I love it. So you said biggest independently the owned? Largest independently owned motorcycle dealer in the country. That's awesome. Because like National yep. Power Store, something like that is, mm. um, is a franchise. We're not a franchise. We're, there's, we have one owner. It's a family, yeah. uh, but there, there's one sole man that runs it that's cool but it's yeah it's the wheeler family oddly enough the wheelers that's and awesome motorcycles. see we got a history lesson i never yep. knew any of this i'm hoping the stuff i told you was correct <laughs> I bet it is. we're rolling with it yeah oh man do you love your job yeah it's a good time it's the most fun i've ever had working and i <laughs> thought i had more fun in the car business but this is just i left the car business um to be less stressed out and this does the job. Bikes are excited about it. So that, no yeah. one wants to So that's that's what I used to tell people when I was in the car business. That's what I would say. Like when they come down on like a Tuesday, like I totally understand. That I'm the last guy you want to see on a Tuesday. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's something like this. You know, I'm the first guy somebody wants yeah. to see. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we were thinking about this this weekend. We're like, let's make an appointment. Let's go. I don't even care if it's raining. Yeah. You know what I mean? We wanted to come and check everything out. Even better. Than I kind of cared if it was raining. Well, I know. Right. Well, that's <laughs> the storm I was telling you about. Oh, sit on that thing. Rocket 3R. This what did is, you call it? This is a storm. Storm. So this is like a special edition that they're putting out that makes just um, an ignorant amount of horsepower. <laughs> this tank is huge. <laughs> right, yeah. dude? And it gets horrible gas mileage. It's got Freaking six cylinders. Huge. No, it's, it's a three cylinder. Oh, why? Wow. It's a three oh. cylinder. Wait, what the? So Teach one me. side is exhaust. This is oh, your exhaust port. Intake. Outside is oh. your intake. Oh, dude. Crazy. <laughs> Tri Triumph only makes triples, twins, and now singles. Mm -hmm. um, all of the all of the triples that Triumph makes are going to be like their higher horsepower engines. Okay. All of their twins are going to be like their Bonneville lineup and their classic stuff. Oh. That, that's what that's where like they're the from split. and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so if you see a twin, it probably looks like something Steve McQueen drove. Okay. Um, if you see a triple, there's performance behind yeah, it. Whether it's this. the Tiger, which is adventure, <laughs> or the Street Triple, which is just probably the nastiest street bike you could possibly get your hands on. Um, and then there's this, which yeah, is just is... pure, raw obnoxiousness. Like, there's no reason for this bike to actually ex exist. <laughs> it's, it's kind of just a, we can, so we did. Yeah. yeah. You know, this has a car engine in it. And then they make a GT version of this as well that has more slung back handlebars and forward control. So it's like you're just sitting yeah. on a couch. Yeah. That will do 200 miles an hour. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> It's a crazy boy, not a lazy boy. I don't know if it'll actually do 200. Okay, so I'm fresh off a test ride from a Triumph... Scrambled eggs. Oh, scrambled. I'm just you are You are so fixated on <laughs> that doesn't matter. On crap that doesn't matter. All right, so I'm fresh off a test ride and I'm... That was awesome. I rode the Triumph Scrambler that I was telling you about, and what that I was telling you about, I was literally just riding it, and that's gonna be the scene before this, so I don't need to like say what it is. So oh, I'm this is all say, staying in the video. No. This is foreshadowing for what Bugsy's probably gonna end up with. I don't know, I told you guys I'm not gonna commit until I ride like a bunch of bikes. So. Yeah, but gut, man, um, it's powerful. As of right now, Triumph is in the lead. <laughs>